Hello and welcome to Retract Q&A. Thank you for coming here today when we are going to talk about landing pages and how to use them effectively with your Retract campaigns. First, I'd like to take two minutes to define the landing page and its place in your campaigns and then move on to more practical stuff. Uh, well, a landing page uh, is a single web page created specifically for your advertising campaign and its main goal is increasing visitors' engagement and boosting your revenue. Um, here, uh, we have some reasons to use a landing. We'll get through five of them so you can decide for yourself if you do need to use landing pages in your campaigns. Well, the first one would be to capture the user's attention. A prominent message or picture on a landing helps to make users stay on the page and engage deeper in your campaign flow. Well, next, the message match. This is the most suitable for something like Facebook. Um, a similar visual and text style on the ad and landing with a clear message helps to warm up your leads a bit and bring more relevant audience to your office. Then, localizing the content. This is uh, self-explanatory by adding a landing tailored to a specific country or region. Uh, you can make the campaign seem unique and the product more appealing. Uh, with red track macros like city or country, uh, you can create a personalized message for your visitors. Now to the multiple offers on the same page or listicles. With it, you can maximize your chance of getting a sale by presenting your visitors uh, with a several relevant products, one of which may be um, one of which they may be interested in. And um, the last and the most important one which sums up um, everything, uh, is tracking and optimization. A landing page is another powerful tool to really squeeze this data um, and optimize your campaigns in the most effective way. You can view every slice uh, on your landing page performance in red track reports and decide on the best way to boost it. So uh, that's it but only for the introductory part. Now let me show you how to put all this info to good use. Create your first landing page. You can either create and host it yourself or use one of the many landing page building services out there. We'll briefly touch both of these options. Um, landing builders have templates and tools that let you create and edit a page in a few clicks. Um, however, their cap capabilities differ Always make sure your lender builder supports the main functions like editing the page code or adding custom scripts. Um, the scripts are a requirement for tracking integrations and here I'll use Lenderbolt to show it. Lenderbolt is a tested solution so everything should work smoothly here. First, let's create the page. We can choose any template we want. Let's make it a Bitcoin quiz. Test would be the title and then save. Then we can go to the page editor and make sure that the code of the page is available because you'll need you'll need it to to paste red track tracking scripts. As you see here uh, Lenderball gives full access to the code. Uh, some uh, landing page builders will only give you an option to um, paste a small portion uh, of your own code to, you know, track track the views or something. But with L Lenderbolt, you can uh, take any script you, you'd like and paste it uh, on your landing page. Then, if you can create your landing yourself, uh, you'll need to do all, all the coding by yourself. Here I have a template uh, of a simple page I created to show you how, uh, to, how to add red track offer URL and all the other thing, things to, to your page. So let's first let's start with the offer link. As you see here in the code, we have a slash click offer link. This will have your 
uh, custom domain or dedicated domain, depending on what you use, uh, uh, that is unique for you. So this domain part can change, but the slash click will always be there. Uh, you place this uh, link where usually your offer URL would be. You can always get into your landing pages in your Red Track account, go into editing the page, and copy this link straight to the page code. If you have several products that you are advertising on your page, you simply, as it stated here, add numbers in the, at the end of the, uh, each link. Here I have three offers that you can see here. If you have a listicle, each of them uh, is numbered as uh, slash one, two, or three. And each of them will be taking users on a separate offer. Then uh, to the tracking scripts. Tracking scripts on, on landing page can help you track views and have more reliable data on your uh, landing page performance. You can take the script, the view script in your landing page uh, as well. Just copy it straight from the um, landing page options in Red Track, and you can take it uh, in any part of the code, either head or body. Here I have it in the body, the first code to start the page. When a user lands here, uh, a view will be added to your Red Track campaign statistics. You can also use a direct script because some of, some of the browsers and some of the traffic sources like Facebook uh, do not allow redirecting. Like in Facebook, you'll just need to um, enable direct traffic and then copy almost the same script. This is direct traffic script that you will be copying here in body as well. You can actually only choose one of them, either a view script or direct traffic. Uh, but by direct traffic, we'll track both clicks and views. You'll have, uh, uh, you'll have it described in more detail in our knowledge base if you need to return to it at any moment. So, you, after you edit scripts to track your views, you can make your page more unique so it appeals to your audience more. Uh, the simplest way to do it is to add uh, some city scripts uh, geo that is geo-based and will show you and will show your users um, some unique information. Here we have a city that will dynamically that will be dynamically filled when the campaign is active. Let's see how it would look. Say we just want to fill it with like Moscow. Click enter, and the user will see a personalized message on your page. You can use any macro here, either red tracks, city, country, ISP, or something else. Or you can use the macros that are provided by your traffic source to show any relevant information you need here. Well, it concludes the basic functions of the landing pages. As I said, you can always return to this information and find it in our knowledge base. And if you have any questions, you can either state them in chat or simply contact our support team. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you.